Okay, before um, before the trailer analysis, I want to say that uh, analyzing Mortal Kombat trailers, I mean Mortal Kombat 11 trailers, is always, I don't know, I like I don't know to feel about this because all the moves they're showcasing in the trailer may be for non-competitive variations. So everything that I'm I'm about to say right now about the character can be not true at all because the moves they're showcasing I mean we're not sure they're going to be competitive viable like the ninjas like everybody was excited for Shang Tsung's ninjas but I mean the character turned out to be completely different and the same can be said for Nightwolf so let's watch it let's watch it let's watch it be without interruptions you were with kano the job needed fast hands and they defiled matokan lands fight Okay, that fatality looks Night gross wins. enough. This looks awesome. You know what it reminds me of? Do you remember Cosmo Canyon in Final Fantasy VII? That, that's the kind of vibe I'm getting from the from the, the outro of the character, and I really like it. Okay, um, so let's rewatch it, but this time we're gonna, um, we're gonna stop the video to talk about some things. Um, yeah, let's do this. You were with Kano. The job needed fast hands. Okay, so this is some speculation, but since the bear and the wolf are in the intro, I think they're gonna be an integral part of the character's gameplay. So we may get the two forms in the competitive variations. Just because the two spirit animals are in the intro. So it's like they're saying it's part of the character. Um, what I didn't see, like in short, is no good advancing mids, man. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk about it. And they defiled Matokan lands. Fight. Okay, so this is the first attack we have. It's most likely an overhead, and it's a mid for sure. It's not gonna be a high. Um, it's super slow. Like nobody's gonna get hit by this. If it if it's used as a mix-up tool. And if we're using it as a mid, an advancing mid is extremely slow, man. Reminds me of Kodal Khan's forward too. 
so I don't know. If this is his only advancing mid, I don't know, man. Okay, he has a projectile, it looks pretty good. Okay, this is the first important thing, the bear form. I still don't really understand what the forms are about. I surely hope they are in the final, like they are competitive because it adds so much depth to the character, but we don't know, we have no way to know. It's always good to have a projectile you can hold on. We know already because Cassie does it and it's extremely effective because you can, you can like fake out a projectile, the opponent jumps and when he's going down, you can just hit him. So it's always good to have and it looks pretty fast. So the bear gives armor on activation. But as you can see, he keeps glowing. So it means that once you activate it, you enter a stance that change that may change the properties of some of your moves or maybe even add new strings, who knows. See, he keeps having it. Maybe this is the crashing blow you get from the bear stance for what we know. Okay, this move looks pretty good. Look. We don't see the full animation, but this move looks extremely good. This is good against zoning, but only against high projectiles, because I think Cassie's projectile is gonna hit. Okay, this is another thing that, um, how to say it, worries me. Because to showcase the activation of the wolf form, they are using up two, like hop two. I think it's a hop two. It can be a tree because tree will be a kick. It's hop two. Does that mean that he doesn't really have knockdowns, hard knockdowns that can lead into a safe activation of the wolf stance or the bear stance? We don't know, but that worries me. Okay, we got the wolf. I don't know if, okay, so what I, what I think here is that they're trying to showcase that the wolf stance either makes the character faster or it gives the character new strings. Because he goes like in uh, wolf stance and then he starts doing some random strings. I don't know if they're like part of the character or they're only available in wolf stance. I'm gonna come to you guys, just let me finish the analysis. This is the typical 1-1-2 string. We got another projectile, we have the trademark absorption, the body absorption, but it's different here because it teleports Nightwolf behind the opponent. Nightwolf seems to have many counter zoning things and that's godlike because as, as a player, that's a, that's exactly what I needed because since I'm a Jax player, I always lose to zoners. And if this character is a counter zoner, I mean, we saw he has projectiles. He can uh, he can do this. He can roll under projectiles. So I think that it's gonna be kind of good against zoners. You missed on his shoulder. Oh, the shoulder, of course. Another trademark move. So we got the eagle and the shoulder. I think the shoulder is gonna behave like Cassie's shoulder. Nothing more, nothing less. So we got this. I think this is a combo. And this is huge, in my opinion, because if you, if you manage to reflect a fireball, you get a full combo. This doesn't look like a command it does. It's it's like a string into a special. Look, this is a string into a special. So it allows for a full combo. Okay, we got... I mean, this is a regular ender. We don't know what comes after this. I mean, look at this. He meter burns. And then I don't know if he gets a follow-up. I don't think so. I don't think so. 
So we see a regular string. Okay, let's try to slow this down because I no, I don't want to share it. How do you slow? Okay. Let's do 0 0.5. Hmm. So this is his launcher. So he has a launcher. Huh? This is a mid. Ta ta. Launcher. Meter burn. Like one, two. This is a two, one. Like, let's make a bet. I think that the string that he did now is a two, one. Into this. I think this is a combo ender. This is not an optimal combo because it's using two bars. But maybe this gives bleeding. I don't know. Up three, two, one, and this is the fatal blow. The fatal blow honestly looks whack. It looks whack. I mean, it's it's not bad animation wise, but it looks like Shang Tsung's fatal blow. Maybe with slightly more range. It's not a long range fatal blow, and that's already a minus. And it doesn't look like it has good range. I think it's even worse than the Vora's Fatal Blow. Let's let's watch it again. The Fatal Blow is underwhelming. No, it's very bad. I don't know the Two Spirit Animals hitbox, but it looks pretty much like Shang Tsung's Fatal Blow. So, I mean, the fatality, if you want to watch it again, I guess. It doesn't look like a good fatal blow. Overall, the character doesn't look too strong. I mean, it's speculation at, at this point. I mean, it may have a godlike advancing mid string that wasn't showcased in this trailer. But for what I saw here, for what I'm seeing here, he looks a little bit stubby, like mid-screen. He doesn't look like a, he has fast strings. He looks pretty much like Kodal Khan, with the exception that it's gonna be extremely hard to zone him. I mean, I don't know uh, how the variations will be, but I mean, let's, let's look at it again. So these are the stances. This is the grab. So he ha he has a grab crushing blow and that's very important. That's very important. In this game having a grab crushing blow automatically makes the character a little better. I hope it's not one of those stupid crushing blows uh, with like the opponent has to fail attack and then you get the crushing blow. Because I, I don't really like it, honestly. But even if it's like that, it's good, in my opinion. Okay, so he has this move. I think you, you like, roll forward. So I think this can be used as a movement option. You roll forward, and then if you meter burn it, you get an attack. So you can actually roll, and you can react. If the opponent threw a projectile, you can meter burn and knock him down i don't know it might be while bear is active yeah that's another um that's another possibility so he has this is an anti-zoning tool he has this which is like i don't know shang song's corpse drop or sonia's drone which is very good against projectile because like it falls from up from upwards so it's it's good because you get the full damage this is the wolf these are the strings the eagle is another projectile so he has so many projectiles we saw the bow and arrow the electric bow and arrow the um, the lightning bolt and the eagle he has so many and we already saw the roll and we we saw the reflect which we're gonna see here 
See the lightning bow and arrow? This is gonna be awesome because it gives you, as I said, combo potential. This I think this is a low string that ends into the animation. Like the Vora's uh, forward two to down one plus three. Or Garrus's. It's like an, a string that starts as a string and ends as a animation. But I think it combos and you can full launch after this. This looks like a good string, but it's reminiscent of Frost's back three, uh, two down one. And you need to meter burn. I mean, at least he has combos. See, I mean, look at this. These strings here all look extremely stubby. I mean, look at this. They all look extremely stubby. It, it feels like, I don't know, a Kodokan with shorter range, but with less problems against zoning. It's super early and we don't know uh, which moves he's gonna have in which variation. But so far, uh, his long range looks exceptional because of all the projectile he had, projectiles he has. The medium long distance looks good as well because he has the reflect and the roll. I'm worried about the strings. I'm worried about the mid screen because I don't want this character to be anti zoner and zoner only. I, you know, I want to get in and do damage. So this is, I'm worried about his strings. They didn't look too good. I mean, look at this, for example, look at how stubby the string is. And yeah, I think that's it. See, this is the string. This is, I think it's his 2-1, as I said. And I don't know about it. I think it's a string that ends in a grab. I mean, a tackable grab. And, uh, sorry, a blockable grab. Yeah, see, this is like... These strings are getting more and more common in uh, MK11. Like, you do 2-1, and then, I don't know, 1 plus 3, or down 1 plus 3. So many characters have that. And yeah, I think this is my this is my opinion about the character. This is my opinion. So he looks like a good character uh like in the on the long distance and on the medium to long distance. I'm worried about his mid screen abilities. He has some tools, but he doesn't have any advancing mids. I mean, imagine ha playing with those stubby strings against like Cassie or Sonia or things like that. So yeah, mm, I mean, it's not much. The trailer is just one minute long. And as I said, we still don't know what moves are gonna be in what variation and if they're gonna be viable at all. But I mean, this is my opinion on on the character so i'm waiting to know your take on the character okay um later if there are mods in the chat if they want to highlight this so i can put it on youtube and the people that weren't here when it started and want to know my opinion they can just watch the youtube video and and be happy okay let's go to the chat now sorry for ignoring you but this was for youtube so i didn't i couldn't interrupt myself come imparato così bene l'inglese è autodidatta caro l'ho imparato apposta per streamare what if the pair is only custom we don't know i don't think i see what you see we can speak about it. I mean, that's the beauty of speculating. He's not going to take the throw away from so the throne away from so. Yeah, I don't think this character is top tier. I am excited. I'm gonna play the shit out of this character. Maybe the bear works like Jade's aura. It gives you armor. So that's already different from Jade's aura. 
It looks like... Yeah, I'm not a big fan of the helmet either. No, I don't care. I mean, what if he ain't topped you? <laughs> I don't give a shit. <laughs> As you know, I don't give a shit. Man, I am a Devora player. What do you think? What do you think I care about top tiers and low tiers? I don't know. I'm not sure about the wolf. I mean, the bear gives you some sort of armor, but the wolf, I don't know. You think he will have cancels? It wasn't in the trailer, so I don't know. Okay, let me look at the... Um, August 14th. Oh, it's him. Classic arcade fighter. Nice. So we also have a new Jax skin. I mean, at least the, the bear looks viable. Because you activate and you can already parry the first attack. So you can use the parry to go into bear form and absorb an attack at the same time. It means you don't need an actual knockdown to do that. Yeah, that's a meter burn. But it doesn't need meter burn to activate the forms, I think. Let's see. See? They're meterless. Yeah, he meter burned he meter burned the bear. Yeah. And then he gets I think they're trying to show us that he gets this crushing blow from the bear activation. Like if you you if you perform a back throw while you are in bear stance, you get the crushing blow. I think that's what they're trying to showcase here. It either extends the activation time or it, mm, it gives you the possibility of, of also absorbing a projectile so you can activate it in the open. Maybe the non meter burn version can be punished. And if you, if you see a projectile, you meter burn and instead of him interrupting you, you absorb the projectile and you enter into the bear stance. This is also another thing. I hope it's not a reversal throw punish. Fuck. Do you think we're getting a combat cast next week for him? Sure. I think so. Okay. And that was the review. That was my take on the character.